Welcome back to the channel everyone. My name is Steve Natto and today we're taking a look at what could be the most hyped up Jordan 1 mid of the entire year. This is the brand new Jordan 1 mid metallic gold. So it officially released on November 30th on Cyber Monday for a retail price of 125 bucks and was anticipated to completely sell out, go for crazy prices on the resale market like it has been going for in the previous weeks except it did none of that completely sat online was available on nike.com on release day yesterday and maybe even a little bit today and it just seemed like the hype kind of died on this shoe so we're going to take a look at it see what's going on with it see why people really wanted it and then maybe didn't take a look at it up close as well as on feet and get you guys my thoughts and opinions towards the end of the video so we'll take a look at the shoe. If you guys have any questions about the sneaker along the way, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. But be sure to hit that subscribe button to keep it locked to the channel. I'm here on YouTube almost every single day sharing my new pickups with you guys here. So let's go and start getting into the metallic gold Jordan 1 mid, starting with the quick facts. And getting it started here with the quick facts on the Jordan 1 mid metallic gold. Here is everything you're going to need to know about the shoe. First off, in terms of the fit and the sizing, this does fit just like any other Jordan 1 low, mid, or high, in that I recommend going true to size. You could even go down a half size too if you've tried it on before and know about the fit. I do typically like to do that myself, but going true to size works just as well. This shoe looks really clean on feet and getting it started with the comfort and the pricing. The comfort is really nice. It's a shoe that breaks in pretty easily and it's a shoe you can wear almost every single day it gets more comfortable as you wear it and finally the pricing like i mentioned it should still be available in most sizes at retail price but will begin to sell out and is going for a little bit on the resale market above that retail price as for what we see on the sneaker itself, it does have some really nice premium materials. You can see that glossy patent leather on the entire upper of the sneaker and all the different parts with gold. It looks really nice and definitely feels good in hand too. There's also some decent quality leather on the sneaker too. It's not anything crazy. I wouldn't say it's great, but it's definitely not bad. It's a nice quality. The thing that really sticks out to me is actually the top lace holes are actually a nicer quality too. It's something very small and subtle, but a nice detail that they did include on the shoe to add to that quality quality. It does come in at that retail of 125 bucks, like I mentioned. Regular Jordan 1 mids retail at 115 so it is a little bit higher, but you do get the premium materials. You can see the black swoosh on top of the white mid panel, black around the collar. Then you got the all black outsole on the shoe. The shoe also does come in your classic Jordan 1 mid box, so not anything different there, just all black with the jump man on top. Here's another look at the size tag as well as a size tag inside the shoe too. And the sneaker does look good with both shorts and pants, so you can style it with a lot of different things. And now there we have it. We've taken a look at the Jordan 1 Mid Metallic Gold on feet, and they looked really good. And I think there's two main takeaways here that I want to point out to you guys before we round out the video. The first one here is if you're looking for a quality Jordan 1 Mid in terms of really nice quality, really well put together shoe, and good overall value for a Jordan 1 Mid, I think this one could be the best of the year. This was done exceptionally well. The materials are great. The shoe looks really nice. You can tell it's of a much higher quality than other Jordan 1 mids. It did come in at that retail price of 125 opposed to the 115 for regular mids. So it does come with a little price hike, but I think it's well worth it for that retail price. I think you wouldn't be disappointed checking out this shoe. And then finally, the second point here is this was one of the first mids to have a hard set release date. So I think that people were a little confused as to what was going on with the release of this because mids, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I say it in almost every single video that mids just pop up randomly at stores and they don't really have a normal release cycle. This mid was different where the release was, you know, pretty steadily on a release date for every single retailer on Monday. So I think this was a bit different for people and I'm not sure how the market's gonna react, but prices are fairly low. Stores do still have this in stock, at least in some sizes. So I would say if you're looking to grab it, buy it now before it disappears. Mids typically like to go up over time in price as they start to you know sell out and disappear. So if you want this shoe, I would grab it sooner rather than later. But I want to thank you guys for stopping by and checking out the video. The last thing we have to do here is give you my final rating and opinion on a scale out of 10. For the Metallic Gold Jordan 1 Mid, I'm going a 9 out of 10. That feels right for me. This is an excellent shoe, very well put together, and really solid for that retail of $125. Bucks. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Did you pick this up or are you looking to pick it up in the future? Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well to keep it locked to the channel. And I'll catch you guys again real soon on the next video.